hey, today it's all about kebabs, right? I think I've got a really good one for you. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I stand by this method 100%. You guys stay tuned. All right, really quick, we're gonna make today's kebabs out of leftover filet. I have a video of how to trim a filet. That's the best way to cut cost, especially with the price rising as of lately. Uh, buying whole beef or chickens or pork and butchering yourself can be very cost effective. So this is what we got left over. That to the side, I would like to have a public announcement. This might really make people mad and this might put really people back on the bandwagon. I think kebabs are made wrong. I make them a whole different way, and I'm going to tell you why. Although they look pretty, although they look pretty, the idea of shrimp, onion, bell pepper, and whatever vegetable you put, put on there cooks at a different rate. Okay? Same thing with steak, same thing with chicken. When you put your vegetables and your meat together, how many times do you do like a medium rare steak there's no way the onion, the mushroom, the pepper, the zucchini has cooked long enough. It takes longer to cook that stuff, right? I don't put my meat and vegetables together. If you've ever been over for a family get together or for a friendship get together, whatever you call it, they know as well as I do that we make kebabs. I have meat kebabs and I have vegetable kebabs and that is what we're doing today. Got it? All right. Vegetables of your choice, I will say this. A uh, quick little tip. Dampen a rag, a paper towel, this is moist, and this is how you clean your mushrooms, okay? You don't wanna run these underwater. Just get the dirt off of there, and you can see that we've already cleaned them pretty well. You can see all the dirt and grime and all that stuff, right? So you're just taking the black dirt off, okay? When you're using kebabs, I have bamboo, bamboo and I have metal, okay? Typically, we would say soak your bam, um boo skewers in water but when you're using a griddle it's not the open flame and it's not as important okay you don't have to really worry about soaking them when you're using a griddle but i like my metal kebabs okay so this is what we're going to use okay when you do your kebabs you want to try to make sure that your vegetables are cut and prepared pretty close to the same size it goes back to cooking right how long does it take to cook a piece of onion or a piece of bell pepper all together. So that's one thing to think about. Your meat is the same way. We're going to cut that up and get to it in a second. Okay. So all these vegetables, I'm going to cut up and then we're going to start skewering. All right. So I'm just finished up cutting my vegetables. I know you're thinking this is really, really strenuous just to do a kebab, but if you're going to do something, you might as well do it the right way. And I stand by it. I'm going to move the onions to the side. If you make a kebab and you oil it and you season it, what does the seasoning hold on to? In my opinion, absolutely nothing. So this is how I season my vegetables before I skewer them. You would not want to put the onions in there because the onions will break apart. Nice little dollop of any type of oil. I'm using avocado oil. You can use olive oil, anything like that. Just a nice coat. Maybe just a touch more. And this is where you're going to season. So I'm going to blend my seasonings. You guys know I love that seasoning, Cavenders. Shake and roll, baby, shake and roll. This gets to the inside, the outside. They're already seasoned for you. Come back in with just a little bit more salt. As you can see now, look. See how it's seasoned? Instead of just the outside, that's perfect, okay? That's a good tip. Boy, you really know what you're doing. <laughs> Don't tell them that. I'll get harassed. All right. Make it any way you want, okay? We love our onions. We actually love it all. One thing I would shy away from, it's extremely hard. Um, it doesn't work as often as you think it would, is tomatoes, right? Tomatoes burst. No rhyme or reason. Something like that, okay? So I'm gonna make my other ones. All right, like normal, my flat top's on low. I'm just putting a thin coat of oil down, spreading it all around. 
I'm gonna start my vegetables right now. We haven't even started the meat because the vegetables will take longer to cook. All right, we're gonna use the same bowl. It's the same common ingredients, right? So now it's the same idea. You want you want to try to have uniform pieces. I know it doesn't always happen. I know, but you want to try to have uniform pieces, right? So the fillet muscles run this way. So I'd like to let's just say cut it right in half. You guys can see the grain running. See that you always cut against the grain. So we're gonna to try to cut it one more time, and then one more time. Bite-sized pieces. Remember, anytime you put something on a skewer or you're making hibachi, remember how big the pieces have to be just to be able to fit in your mouth. If you're like my wife. I knew that was coming. I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> I mean, just there's no. <laughs> Did you tell them we just had our anniversary? It's kind of like our anniversary dinner. That's true. Uh, 16 Blissful. Just incredible years. <laughs> All right. So this kicks off our June eating healthy month. My wife swore up and down. Look, we both lost a lot of weight. If you guys haven't followed me for a long time, I've lost like 62, 65 pounds, but I put on about five to eight, sometimes 10 pounds. And I swore to myself, I'll never put on the weight again. And so if I don't stop now, there's never a time. So we get requests all the time for healthy videos. So we're not necessarily switching over or anything like that. There's a dog in our yard. What the heck? That's a pit bull too. Ooh, Ooh. he's gonna eat that A up. Um, so uh, with that being said, we try to follow this journey, get this weight back off. So we start having those smash burgers and nachos and all that other junk. It's about balance, right? All right. So we were gonna try to do more healthy videos in the month of June. That's right. June's kicking off grilling season. You guys get all the healthy stuff all year long. Look, we're gonna create a binder. I love this stuff. You guys add whatever you want to. Come back in with a little W sauce. That dog ain't gonna hurt you. I know, are you watching it? I, I, wanna, it I think I see somebody in another I don't wanna sneak it up behind me. <laughs> I wouldn't say anything either. I'd let it bite you. <laughs> Take her out. All right, we just got chopped garlic, my A1 with barbecue sauce, a little Worcestershire sauce, a little Cavenders, fresh cracked pepper, and just some salt. I'm gonna let this stay in the bowl as long as possible. We're gonna go check our vegetables because there's no reason to put these on a skewer right now. Just let all that marinade, that sauce and everything just marry with the meat. All right, right before we flip them, just a little bit more touch of oil. This kind of explains my reasoning right here, right? So look how much some of the vegetables get color, right? And some don't. Imagine if you had your steak on there. Now you've got some pieces that never even touch the griddle um, or your grill. And the whole point is, I think of a good steak is that char, right? So that's why I put the vegetables on first. These things take way longer to cook than it does a good piece of meat, especially when the meat is only about that big. Our vegetables are cooking. I'm sure you guys don't need to see me skewer a bunch of meat. But here we go anyways. Try not to kill the meat either. Try not to like get all the meat squished down. You want some open spots. It allows that heat to come up and get some more, uh, more texture and flavor, more browning if you can. See that? How it's not all together. All right, just move my vegetables over. Nice landing spot for this steak. Just patting it down just a hair to try to get as much surface area on the griddle as possible. This will not take long.
when you start moving it and release it from the griddle, you're good to go, okay? It's already, it's already got that sear on it. Flip it in a new spot, okay? Don't flip it in the same spot. That spot is cool, blur, than the next spot you touch, right? So we're gonna flip. Look at that camera, baby. Mm. Right? See that landing zone right there? We're not gonna flip it right there. Just like that. Not long at all. You know, we like our steak more on the medium rare to rare side. So we're gonna take it off and just like normal, what do you do with your steak? Let it rest. Let it rest. I don't wanna overcook my vegetables. Ooh, they smell good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they smell good. All right, guys, there you go. Super easy. Just take the extra steps to make sure each ingredient is thought of, right? So the steak is separate, the chicken is separate, the shrimp is separate from the vegetables, and you season your vegetables individually. I think it makes a huge difference. So I really don't know how you want me to try this. <laughs> well, show them how the skewers work. They've got that little metal piece. Still medium rare. Look at all the juice on the cutting board. Cause you're not worried about overcooking it because you didn't have it cooked with the vegetables. If you guys are interested about the skewers, we will have a link in the description below. If you're a grill fan with charcoal or pellet or anything like that, we absolutely love them. We stand by them. We've used them several, several, several times over the last two years, just never on video. With that being said, we are going live June 26th at 3 p.m. for our very first uh, cook along. If you guys are interested, you guys can join us then on YouTube. Find us on the Griddle Group on Facebook. What are you guys making? Share it with us so we can have inspiration because this was another inspiration. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything like that, you think I'm absolutely loony or crazy because of the way I do my kebabs, comment below. Mm. Give me a piece. Mm. Mm.